In today's video, we'll find out if an old couple gets hit by a car. Let's go! How's it going everyone? Wei on Physics here and this is 5 Minutes Physics where you learn physics in lesser time than it takes to get out of bed. So no time wasted. Today's video is about linear motion equations also known as Suvat equations because it only uses these 5 variables to define anything moving in a straight line. So what are these 5 magic variables? S here stands for displacement U is the initial velocity, V is the final velocity, A stands for either acceleration or deceleration, and T stands for time. Also, remember that we want to use only the SI units for these five variables. As you can see here, these four equations are made up of only Suvat, with each equation using four out of the five variables and excluding one. The first one is without A, the second one without V, the third one has no S, and the last one has no T. Now, some of you might notice that there is no equation that is without U. That is because the world doesn't work without U. Now, how do we actually use these equations? In practice, you only need about 3 out of the 5 variables to get the others. That's right, it's a by 3, free 2. The first thing that you should do when you realize that you've stumbled upon a Suvat question is to write down what you do know and what you do not know. Let's take a look at the example. An old couple was standing in the middle of the road. An oncoming car was traveling at a speed of 55 meters per second. The driver steps on the brakes and the car decelerates at 10 meters per second squared. If the distance between the car and the couple is 200 meters, can the car stop before it hits the couple? First, I'll write down all the variables that make Suvat. Then, from the question, I get an initial velocity of 55, a final velocity of 0 because the car comes to a stop, and an acceleration of negative 10 because it is decelerating. So, if I want to know whether the car stops before hitting the couple, I need to know how far the car actually travels as it is trying to stop. So my goal here is to get the displacement S. Now I can find an equation that has S, U, V, and A. In other words, I need an equation that excludes T, which leads me to this. All I have to do now is throw in the values, do some calculations, and I'll get S to be 151.25 meters. And since this stopping distance is much lesser than the 200 meter distance between the car and the couple, the car is able to stop before hitting the couple. So that's it for this episode of 5 Minutes Physics. If you want more examples of linear motion equations, there will be a link in the video which you can click on or you can click on the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more physics related video. Also, share it with your friends who you think will need this. I'm Wei Physics and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, never stop learning.